Alrighty, we are back. We are getting ready to go and do that mission that I said I was that we were gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna do like a moth to flame. Oops. Okay. Let's go see how this works out. So let's get our fast travel on and go back to the air of that land. Scooter ain't tell you to ask me about shh. Just kidding. Oh my god. What a day. It's just a very, very blah day. I need to, like, go and clean up and do some stuff. Do some exciting things today. This will probably be my final recording episode for the weekend. I've been, I mean, my whole weekend's basically been... You know, doing this and catching up on episodes, so definitely probably give me a Borderlands break soon. Uh, do I want any of these? Like repeater pistol? What's the? Why not? It doesn't hurt. I feel like I'm gonna be using mostly SMGs, repeaters, and snipers. That's what it seems like the trend for me has been. So we're gonna stick with it. Oh, so the the moth rack that we're actually gonna fight actually is in here. Get the vehicle in there, you can get it out of there. Alright. Scenic route. up this hill. I, I again, I, I'm awful. See, they should at least, like, the little diamond thing, it should at least, like, you know, as you're working your way up it, it should just be like, oh, you should go here if you want this. Like, they should make it pretty, that straightforward. Doesn't look like it works out that way. I feel like I'm doing more than what I have to. Just a little arrow that says, it's above you or below you. I don't think that's too hard to ask for. Yeah, I think it's... Just like that, I like pass whatever it is I'm supposed to go through. I may have had this right the first time. Hey, we're in the right spot. Sure, this is gonna summon some big ass bird, and then we have to fight him. It better not be a flying enemy, neither. Oh, there's, there it is. It really is like a 
a big ass bird. Like shoot them in the sky. No, not cool. You know that's actually a really huge, really huge boss character. That was my new. This boss is like completely elevated over my head. So it's, it's trying to hit it with anything seems kind of impossible. It's just chilling over my head. Like literally. Just use this thing right here. It's a little overpass. This is kind of like our shelter from his BS. Decent damage. This might take a minute, but this is why I was given phase lock. Situation. Shield also had kind of helps out a little bit, keeps me from completely dying. There's no B shield in this game. you having shields over health. That is my Borderlands 2 rule. And I'm pretty sure people that have like done this already probably have found like an easier way to fight them. Would be a lot better if I had something that was uh, fire, like a fire. <laughs> but he's spitting out fire, so I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. It would be. I would just think if he spits fire, he probably isn't immune to it. Not really 
helping me here. It's not staying in a good area for me to shoot him. There we go. I wonder how good my thumper would do on him. You know, that thumper's been putting in some work on the enemies. <laughs> ah, no more than the other gun. This is actually the new gun I got, the Sky, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, or the Spy. That I got from my other little side mission I just did just a second ago. It's been a pretty, pretty decent. Okay. And it's over here hitting me with stuff, and then I have no clue where it's actually hitting me. But we've almost worn down the moth rack. Rack continues to be one of my least favorite enemies. I said that for the least two. I think I have, think it's very well documented that I hate surveyors, rack, and anything that is rabid. So the rabbit version, it's like a rabbit skag in Borderlands 2 is just one of the most annoying things ever. Because I mean they're so aggressive, you know, and then they and then they're they're just literally tanks on top of that. There we go. But yeah, they're just literally tanks, so they're just tough. Yeah, there you go, but Sack and Peyton Manning. Hey, man, he's probably gonna throw some bomb. Oh, he got the interception. Okay. <laughs> My bad. I'm over here tripping. All right. Okay. Trip. Time to stop tripping and finish Moth Rack. I this I know this is like the most unexciting video of fighting an enemy. Okay, I can get brave now. Just shoot. And they probably and he probably didn't even drop anything. If it did, it fell like in a spot that I didn't really want it to fall on. Probably wasn't the best place to kill him, right? All right, so that's complete. Let's go ahead and head out to. Dang, them things are everywhere. Let's just get to the to that area. Uh, this is catch your eye. You know, actually, I think the the Lost Cave actually has a fast travel station. So we're just gonna go into the Lost Cave and then use that fast travel station to get back to the New Haven. That's thinking ahead. Look at that. Look at that forward thinking. get used to the layout of everything in here. Scooter asked me to tell you about a, a little something something he needs done. You should ask him about it. The blister. Sounds kind of cool. Nice and unique. I guess it made it worth all the trouble. Ooh, a uh, cool submachine gun. Anyway, let's get to... Where's this place at? I'm just gonna walk there because chances are I can't. R you can't really ride a vehicle out of this place anyway, so it seems like they don't want you to. So we'll just 
leave out the back of town. I think I picked the right way. Yeah. And work our way to that area. Yeah, there it is. And I guess Claptrap will let us go there. I am talking. The lady with scars where her face should be believes that you and I are looking for the same thing. You should come to me now so I can see the artifact you have recovered. Your DNA has now been granted clearance to travel within the Rust Common. Please wait while I activate the gate. I am the best robot. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Just I open up the stupid door. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here it goes. <laughs> Rust Commons West. So does that mean there's a Rust Commons East? I know, that was really gay. Cesspool. Sounds like a great place to have one. Yeah, let's get our ammo up since we just wasted up a bunch of ammo fighting those dudes. And I actually want to give that that gun a shot. I want to try out the the blister. I just want to shoot it Sarah once or twice. Me to tell you about a, a little something, something he needs done. You should ask him about it. Okay. Claptrap keeps on asking me to do that. So maybe at the beginning of the next episode, we'll go and see whatever the hell Blister, Blister, Scooter's talking about. Let's hop in another vehicle. find Tannis first. How close is this mission to us? It's all kind of the same general area, so. And of course they don't want me to drive through here, so let's fight. Also a good spot where I can work on my repeater proficiency. So I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'll use my incendiary repeater. It's a really good spot. Easy spider ants to kill. being really silent and all that kind of stuff. I'm sitting here really kind of in some, kind of some semi-deep thought on what I'm trying to do here. Okay, and there's Rack. Stupid ass. Just gonna phase walk really fast. Game 
wanted to tell me that this is not a game today. Like, I can hear him. I just can't see him. I'm good. There's a revolver. This is like an explosive repeater. We'll give it a shot. Lots of character in this game. We're just heading on in the same general direction. I loaded up a shotgun, and that shotgun did not do jack squat for me. I was just being complicated. There's no way to let you go through this large area and not let you use the vehicle. But I'm pretty sure the echo recorder that we were looking for was just in this little area over here where I almost got my butt whooped. Yeah. Somewhere over here. As I work, I spend the majority of days having conversations with people that are not there. Two days ago, I explained to my mother how the translation program I was writing would greatly help me understand exactly what all this arid and text I've been attempting to decipher actually means. My mother has been dead for 16 years. She was never actually interested in science to begin with. I'm unsure if I'm quite to the point of no return, but my stubbornness, which I got from her in the first place, will keep me here putting up with her until I find exactly where the vault is or until I drive myself so far off the edge I do not remember why I was doing this in the first place. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a good one. Tannis is one of my favorite characters. It's probably one of my favorite characters in Borderlands. Like, just her kind of random quirkiness in the whole deal. <laughs> if 
body and they play. Trying to hit these critical hit spots on their back. Some of these dudes do a little bit better job of that. And I have to And I have to reload like as soon as I go back around trying to trying to be slick with the phase walk and it's like, oh never mind, we want you to reload. That's just how cold you are. But now nah, Tan Tannis is a pretty cool character. I, I think that she's her breed, you know, her breed of intelligence and just you know, dropping now, especially in Borderlands 2, but I mean they may they make it seem like she's a very troubled character with a very troubled past and it seems like her her studies, I guess, you know, the things that she does is the way that she copes with everything. You know? I want these racks. Yeah, these racks feel like they're coming after me. Killing them all. I think that's what makes her bad. It's a lot of people like Scooter for the for the humor and all that, but yeah, she's pretty cool. Day 457. This is exciting. I think I might strip naked and run around to celebrate, but I'll, I'll do it during the dim cycle for fear of prying eyes. Before overloading and melting Thanks, for my computer's 13 qubit operators, my program was able to decipher quite a bit more than I've been able to understand before. It will take a few days to fix, but I was able to find many repeated instances of an event that takes place every 200 years. It's repeated many times with a symbol that looks not unlike a circle with an upside-down V in it. It's possible that this is the vault. And something about the vault happens every 200 years. Tonight, for dinner, I will have eggs. Eggs? Hey. Pretty sure they'll let me have a vehicle and put it through something. Shoot them all! I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to try to see if I can ride around this, because I don't want to see it run around my feet all day for this for this particular side quest. If I don't have to do it, I don't want to. And I say I hate vehicles. You know, I mean, I think that's funny. I do. I really do hate vehicles. But it's going to save me some time. Oh. Well, it's in this. And there's going to be a couple people to shoot. You're not having fun shooting people. If you're not playing one of them. Ah, more rats. There we go. Figured I'd help out my pistol proficiency. Get behind me. Just yet. If I'm wrong, I'm 
done, and if I'm right, the suits will claim it. I must find the bolts myself. Find, find. Day 493. Doll Corporation just shut down their mining operations here on Pandora. I think they are insane. Or that is, whoever is making the decision is insane. Iridium mining on this planet has been hugely lucrative for Doll and has funded my project. <laughs> kind of hurt. Alright, let's uh, do this submachine one real quick. Then we'll, we'll do that and then we'll get to the part where we're actually finding Tannis. Or I guess we can find her. And that was back over there in that corner in the map. So, back in the vehicle we go. Eric Decker with the touchdown. Man. There's a lot of stuff to do in here. Uh, just, just gonna cut through these dudes real fast. Yeah, I went to the general, generally into the wrong direction. It's probably in this little cave area, so I probably gotta go in, fight through some stuff. I'll get to another vehicle. Let's just let's just fight our way there. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, if you're not if you're not playing Borderlands to shoot stuff, then you're probably playing the wrong game in the first place anyway, right? Work through. I haven't really found a really good incendiary. I want a really good incendiary SMG. I might just, you know, if I see one in the in the, the machines, I might just pick it up. But you know, I've always been one of those people that I've been a strong believer in. You know, if you're playing Borderlands, like you shouldn't have to pay for a gun. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you, you get your loot on, you kill some enemies, you get it as a reward. I mean, you know, but you're not gonna rarely see a gun of, I think, a really great value inside of any machine it's possible like you know this game you know will tell you like any gun is pretty much available at any lootable source which means if you can loot it and get a gun you know it's possible but it just isn't possible all right okay we're, 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 we're on the right track gun is actually pretty solid. It's a little bit over the place. I guess being a Hyperion gun I have a little bit of that. There we go. And then hit him with the... Oh. I was going to hit him with a good sniper, but I guess not. Ow. That hurt. I'm just going to use phase walk to reposition myself. Get up. This gun might be losing its luster a little bit. Eh, maybe it's just I can't shoot. That was just an example of just really, really, really bad aim right there on my part. Alrighty. Well, I 
I guess it was good that I also started the Kansas City Chiefs defense, you know, today. Because their defense just scored me a touchdown. Man, I am just getting good at Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon went off today, kids. Like, if you hadn't been paying attention, like, that dude really went off. Undiscovered. I'm walking towards something undiscovered. Yeah, let's walk over here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, nice. I can get out of here faster. Get another vehicle to help you travel further on out. I just want my pistol. I already see the green. But you think they're really just going to let me walk up in here and just grab these things? Show me the enemies. Spy is a pretty good, pretty good SMG. It's, it's serving me well. I think the, one of the things about Borderlands 1 that I think that I didn't like is, uh, I mean, just the amount of like different gun skins. You know, you know, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot of different guns, but at the end of the day, it almost kind of feels like after a while you pick up a gun, and you're like, oh, I've seen a gun that looks like this before. Where at least in, you know, when you play Borderlands 2. You know, every legendary and every unique generally has its own unique look. And I think that's, you know, I think people actually care about that stuff a little bit. Um, uh, got that. But, I mean, I'm in here right now trying to get myself a unique SMG. So that's the goal right now. That's what we're trying to do. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, we'll just get up here to the top. It's only four parts. Awesome jump. Is that my other gun part? Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, at least we know where to jump to. We'll jump on this. There we go. Oh, the last one's right there. This one's in the tire. So this one, see, in that other mission that I was sitting there and I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out where it was, I feel so stupid because I they put it in a, I, I, you know, like right under this little crack in this little metal thing that's right there in front of it. And I was like, well, why would you even put it in a spot like that? And Tannis is way back on the other side of this map. So we're just going to go ahead and turn this stuff in and then... We'll move on, and then I'll just cut this episode off, because like I said, I think this one is starting to get close to the 30-minute mark, if we haven't already hit the 30-minute mark, which I believe we have, so I'm just going to roll my vehicle on back to the fast travel station. We'll go back to New Haven. We'll turn in these side missions, and then we'll go and, and pick up on Tannis and see what she got going on. That'll be the that'll be the plan, and then now that we have this station, now we can use this to travel to areas over here on this part of the map since this place is so huge. This is like a big area, and I guess there's another one up there. Should have probably grabbed that one too while I was just running around, but that's okay. So let's just head on back, turn this one in. I don't know. We might. Let's see where we at in level. We yeah. We'll, we'll get close to level 25. If we if we don't hit 25, we'll be really really close. So um, where are we at?
So a better thumper than the thumper I was already using. Eh, that's okay. So yeah, I think that's where we're gonna stop here. So what like I said, we are here at the 30 minute mark. And so, I mean, really all we have left on the menu is to seek out Tannis, unless we wanna go pick up those scooter missions, which we might do that too, but we'll go ahead, we'll seek out Tannis, get to the next set of missions, and uh, just move forward from there. And so we should be, we'll hit level 25 next time. We'll complete everything in our elemental tree here. And then we'll work towards building uh, Diva probably. Yeah, we'll probably hit Diva first and then hit back on Slayer to kind of suppress the skills. But that that's just the plan. I mean, whether it works out that way, we'll see. But anyway, we're going to close out this particular episode. And thanks for sticking with me yet again. It was a little bit boring. Next time, I guess I will actually, I'll figure out a really good, you know, discussion topic. But I was, I don't know, I was kind of zoned out a little bit trying to do this. So, But alrighty then, you guys take it easy. And I'll catch you again in the next episode.